Alright, what's going on YouTube? Appreciate the love, appreciate you guys tuning in with me today. Happy Sunday, happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. Mom, I miss you, I love you. You the GOAT, you the MVP. It's all love, baby. <laughs> I'm gonna talk to you guys real quick about report writing, police academies type shit. It's super important when you're doing your reports and when you're learning about reports that you kind of keep shit simple, okay? Um, in the academy, you're going to have a class on report writing where you're going to have like a prosecutor, I think it was, that he came in for a day and he gave us the lectures and he gave us like examples of good reports and examples of bad reports. He gave us shit that they look for and things like that. So, you know, report writing is pretty much storytelling. And you know, when it comes to the stories, I'm your guy. I'm going to tell you guys how to do it. I'm going to show you guys how to kind of get that shit so you feel a little comfortable with it because it's really not complicated. Like I said, you don't want to add too many details. You don't want to leave out details, but all you are going to do is literally be telling a story. So the class that we had in the academy was the instructor came in and you know, like I said, he was just talking a bunch of bullshit, lecturing, all that boring shit. But then when it came to actually writing the report and like or like practicing um, on reports, he gave us an example and you guys could do this example right now because just for practice or that way you can kind of so get the it. example we were given was you as an American um, you're approached by a foreigner you know somebody who doesn't really speak English somebody who doesn't really understand you know American shit you have to write down directions on how to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich that was the example that we got in the academy. Write down directions on how to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich so you can give it to this foreigner and they have to kind of be able to comprehend and understand your directions so they can make a, a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Now you think it's simple as, okay, like you get a knife, you open the jar, you put the knife in the fucking jar, you boom, 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 you do, like all the simple steps you do it. But when you're actually trying to describe how to make a fucking peanut butter and jelly sandwich to somebody who doesn't know what peanut butter is. Somebody that doesn't know, you know, the jar. Somebody who may not understand, you know, that little plastic film. When you take, when you twist the jar and you got the plastic film, you have to include all of that shit. Like, it's really not as easy as it may sound. And that's, you know, that was kind of like a little, a little training that we did where we would, we would be told, like, you got to be detailed with what you're talking about because you're pretty much telling the story that when you make the report other people have to read the report and have to like visualize everything they have to visualize okay the time of the day was it raining was there a lot of people around there was what was going on how are you feeling in this that's why in certain reports and you see it you see it a lot, like with the body cam footages and things like that. You see certain phrases such as, um, due to my training, due to the experience in law enforcement, due to certain things. You know, there's certain key phrases that police officers use in their reports to make it seem like, all right, you know what, I don't, that's, that's not going to fall on me because I put that phrase in there. You know what I mean? Another phrase that we were taught to use, and I'm sure you guys have heard it plenty of times, I fear for my life. But when it comes to the report writing, man, and when it comes to you just even being on scene, talking to people, whether it's for an investigation or you just chit-chat on some regular shit, make sure your communication is, is good. Make sure it's not just you speaking. Listen to them. When you take it, when you take in the notes and taking down their information and they tell you their name and they tell you their address and what's going on, repeat the shit back to them. And tell them, yo, I just want to make sure if they may get annoyed, like, oh my God, I just want to make sure I'm getting everything right for the report. I don't want to mess nothing up for you. I want to help. You know, don't be one of them them officers that's kind of like trying to rush through and speed through, giving you an attitude and this and that. Like, don't do not do that. Communication is going to be key in all of that shit. Because what goes in that little notepad, it's going to go on your report. What's, go, what's on that report at some point, whether it's a year, two years, depending on the, whatever, the, you're going to have to go to court. You may have to go to court. And then you don't want to be sitting on the stand and, you know, the lawyers fucking asking you questions like, well, do you remember when you put this in the report and you may not 
person, you may not have a copy of your report, or you just may kind of just be like, yeah, I don't, I don't know, I don't remember, so I don't remember putting that. I don't remember saying that. Maybe, yeah, kind of this and that, this and that. You don't, like, make sure everything is on point and nothing could fall back on you. You know, for the most part, reports are going to be easy. Now, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Like, there's going to be cases. There's going to be situations where there's a lot of bullshit. A lot of people are involved. A lot of different charges and this and that. So that's when you got to, you know, you figure things out with your sergeant and the prosecutor and everything like that. But for, when you do just your, your basic reports, whatever basic may mean to you, they're all going to kind of just start the same. It's all going to be just get the get the basic info. Whoever's involved, get the, get the name, get the location, get the time. Did you arrest somebody? Was somebody stabbed? Was there a victim? Was anybody arrested? Like, just get all that information. And then you start. They're all going to be the same. At approximately, what, what time is it? 8.45. At 0845 hours, I was dispatched to whatever street you got to go to. When I pulled up to that street, I noticed a man laying on the ground with a what appeared to be a gunshot wound to his chest. I ran to the man and I tried to say, like, talk, it's story time, story time, slow shit now, story time, don't leave out bullshit, don't put too much bullshit in there, just talk about what happened, appreciate the, appreciate the love, man, hit the like button, hit the share button, subscribe button, you know, show some love to the channel, and I do want to say, I am going, I, I've said it before, I'm going to say it again, okay, I'm not a law enforcement expert. I'm not a DUI expert. I'm not a report writing expert. I'm not a detective. I'm not an investigator. I'm not nothing like that, okay? We can agree. We can disagree with things. That's fine. I'm not, we're not going to lose any time, sleep, money, energy by agreeing or disagreeing by anything that I say on here. If there's something that I say, tell me, you know, oh, I don't agree with what you said. I think this, this and that, this and that. Okay, I'm open-minded. Like, I'm willing to change my mind with shit. I could kind of hear somebody's point of view about something and be like, okay, I, I, I didn't really think about it like that. I, I got you. I see what you're saying. Cool. But I just wanted to make that shit clear. Cause I don't want people coming in here, oh, he think this, he think this, he think that. Nah, nah, nah. nah. This is all facts. Everything that I talk about is facts as far as my personal experiences and my stories and things like that. But my perspective on things, that's just me. If you see things differently, if you don't agree with me, man, it is what it is. It's all love over here. Appreciate it. Catch y'all in the next one. Peace.